श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वेन वी थिंक अबाउट लाइफ Initially, we think about what I have to become. We are the kids. Hey, when you are grown up, what you want to become? So somebody says, "I want to become the garbage truck driver." You will not trust me. This is what I got answer for my child. I said, "What attracted you there? He said, "It's such a great thing. Everybody keep their things out. You go with your truck, and the hand comes and lifts it. Wow! I want to become that. See? So we are all struggling in our life to become something or the other. Becoming is samsar. Being is paramatma. So what should be the spiritual life? We have to stop becoming. but what happens we keep on becoming more and more and the burden of that becoming is so high you sit here you you huh. he was sleeping behind <laughs> so the becoming has to be undone therefore the spiritual life is the process of undoing and unbecoming like we do not do waking we are in the waking so waking is an experience it is not an action and in this experience we conduct so many things similarly dream is an experience in that dream experience we go through many good and bad experiences see similarly we don't do deep sleeping we are in deep sleep and then only we can snore try to snore when you are awake you cannot because to snore the requirement is you should be in deep sleep So these are the major three experiences of our life: waking, dream, and deep sleep. And all these experiences are not done; they are. When we do something, something is created. And when something is created, it will be lost. It will not remain. Now, if we extend this thing further, so what are the total experiences of our life? waking dream deep sleep and samadhi meditation so when the three of them are not done why should we do meditation then we have to be in meditation and conduct the business of life no further <clears throat> waking experience for the waker is limited only in the waking dream experience is for the dreamer only in the dream deep sleep experience is for the deep sleeper pragya only in the deep sleep but the experience of meditation permeates in and through waking dream deep sleep and samadhi then the question comes what is that which is available in all the four experiences so there is some principle which is supporting the waking without becoming a waker supporting the dream without becoming a dreamer supporting the deep sleep without going to sleep that principle alone is permeating in and through all the experiences of our life 
Now from that big canvas, now come to the individual experiences. See? Any individual experience that we take, it has the component of dvandva or uh, dvandva or the dualism. There are two words. One is dvandva, second is dvaita. Dvaita is duality. I am talking and the mic is amplifying. I and the mic is dvaita. And in this dvaita duality, my experience is I am the knower, the mic is the known, but I am not the mic. So in duality, there is an experience of not I-ness. If this doesn't happen, what a fun it will be. I know this is a donkey. And I am donkey. People may call, but I am not. See, So duality is an experience where the not I sense is created. Now come to the dualism. Dualism is complementary opposites. See, Joy, sorrows, gain, loss, health, disease, friend, enemy. See? Dualism. In this dualism, the not I-ness is not born. See? It is here our understanding about meditation begins. And what will be that understanding? Joy I know. Sorrows also I know. See? Gain I know. And the loss also I know. So where I am? I am in both. Gain something is. Loss, something is not. So where I am? I am beyond is and is not. Gain is, gain is not. Or the other way, loss is, loss is not. Both of them are equally, effortlessly eliminated by me. Therefore, I am present in both of them. There is no place of not INS. See? Therefore, meditation will be what? Now, what is our total experience of life? They are also two. Waking and dream is the experience where Something is. See? And deep sleep and samadhi is the experience nothing is. So two types of experiences. Is and is not. And all of them are supported by something which is not in favor or against anything. That substratum is not created by meditation. That substratum is recognized. And in that recognition, the recognizer in that knowledge, the knower in that experience, the experiencer is not born. Meditation karne bhi nahi dete. See. So, this is the foundation of spiritual life. When we hear on YouTube 
uh, getting bored, so let us see something. And this pops up. What is this? Smiling, happy, what is this? Let me see. And then we are introduced. This is a zero level. The benefit that we get is zero level. Or let us say one unit. Then we happen to hear live. That is more powerful, maybe um, 50 times. Then we go for the retreat like this. This is more powerful, 100 times. And when we be what we are, etat buddhva buddhiman syat krutu krutyascha varata. Life stands fulfilled. Na kuch pana, na kuch khona. This experience has to be recognized in and through all the activities of day and night. So, something like Mahatma give example. Now, although this example is outdated, but it is still valid. Earlier in Rajasthan, these young girls used to go for fetching water from distant place, water source. So they will be having three, four pots, go and uh, collect the water and three, four friends of them, all giggling teenagers, full of life, cutting jokes. And the water pots are kept one above other. They are coming and talking and giggling and laughing and walking and yet the balance is not lost. That experience is they are in meditation. See? Meditation is not half an hour meditation, rest of the life frustration. No. Because you are not wanting anything. You don't want anything. See? And therefore, the two things are to be known. We are not doing anything. Eh? Two things are to be known. First step, analysis of our experiences. Normally, we complain about the thoughts. Amma, the sun is troubling you, come here and sit. Come here. Oh. Or you like to sit like that. Oh. So, first thing is, stop complaining about anything in this life. You are living in meditation. This is very difficult. You don't know my husband. Satya. <laughs> See, stop complaining about anything in the life. You have started living in meditation. I don't have complain about anybody except what mind is too disturbed. Complain about the mind. So instead of complaining, find out. What exactly is the disturbed mind? The mind is running in time, space, objects. Desha kala vastu. See? And it is so natural to us that we are not aware of this. Like you know when we went for walk, 
I saw the um, garbage cans pro pro protected so that the um, bear should not come and destroy them. Now that I have seen live in uh, our, uh, Alaska, where I was staying, and uh, the big, huge the bears will come and open and take out one and spread everything and go. So when I was going here, I saw that and it came to my throat. I should tell. I said, is it necessary? Has anybody asked me why talk? See? Then while coming, Arun told me that. Again, another vomit was coming out. Yes, I have seen. Who asked you? These default settings of our life has to be consciously worked upon. Because how we interact or react in life, first reaction is through words. See? And our tongue is such a terrible instrument, it doesn't have bone. It keeps on wagging throughout life. Therefore, our mantra, Deko, Suno, Mat Bolo, recognize this. So, the first step will be becoming aware that our mind is disturbed, so find out. The mind is disturbed as somebody. Mind cannot think without a reference. Remain as nobody and try to think. See? Now, become somebody, mother, father, husband, wife, whatever, become somebody and don't think. How the references are born? References are born after body identification. So what will be the first step in meditation? We have to consciously recognize that I am working through the body, I cannot be the body. See? So the body is kept and we are outside the body. Now to come to this experience, basics are necessary to be clear in our mind. If you look at this tripod, it is steady. It can remain steady for any number of years. The reason is, the center of gravity is exactly in the center. If the center of gravity is displaced, it will collapse. In the same manner, like all of you are sitting. If the center of gravity is not exactly in the center, either it is on the left leg or the right leg, and therefore the weight of the body falls more on that leg, and then that leg starts slipping, and it starts giving numb sensation, then we are want to change it to this way, and then after that, this also starts uh, giving pain, then the idli machine starts sometime this way, sometime that way. Sometime this way. See? So what is required as most of you are sitting, 
सी दैट द वेट ऑफ योर बॉडी लैंड्स ऑन द इश्चाय पॉइंट्स इश्चाय पॉइंट्स आर द पिन बोन्स इन योगा दे कॉल सिटिंग बोन्स द पेल्विक गर्डल एंड द टू पॉइंट्स दे टच द फ्लोर सो लेट द वेट ऑफ योर बॉडी लैंड ऑन दिस टू पॉइंट्स consciously for that open your legs close your legs as per the requirement but the weight should be over there this is initially important see so once this is done now the weight is properly distributed you don't have to struggle for holding the body in a particular posture now there are two three qualities of the body which will free us from the body identification first is the base is firm and second vertically the body is steady it is not rocking as i am rocking is not rocking firm and steady and that is achieved by giving suggestion to the body by the mind i am using the word giving suggestion not doing the doing thing should end from our head so we start from the top up to the toe now when i'll keep on giving instructions don't ask question how to do that you don't worry body knows she will do it this is one of the biggest disease constant question 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 see i am allergic to questions the other day i went to some place so they asked me uh, are you allergic to something i said yes questions are allergy no end to those questions all those who ask question they are lazy they don't want to think and find out the solution so as you are sitting we start from the top and reach the toe before we begin we have to make some psychological adjustments in our psyche first we are cheerful and happy anything which is done cheerfully and happily it is not a burden and it is not also the doing see when the mother looks up after the child cheerfully happily it is not doing love it is expression of love so first we are cheerful and happy we are not here under compulsion to in our heart is our guru and our beloved god both of them guide us from within and protect us from within we have to recognize their presence in our heart now third step we have to drop our total past wherever whenever whatever you are be 100% so we drop the total past and that is achieved by taking a position at this moment i am nobody nobody has no past therefore no memories nothing to talk then never take any sankalpa what we will do after meditation
otherwise you will keep on doing that job in meditation now we start working on the body relax the head the forehead relax the eyebrows the eyelids eyeballs don't try to see anything be indifferent to anything that comes relax the facial muscles nose lips chin relax the neck from the front throat below the ears and on the back nape side relax 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 hang down the shoulders they are unnecessarily lifted up relax the shoulder joints the upper arms elbows lower arms wrists palms and fingers relax 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 now let us take a pause and observe our body is divided in two parts relax and not yet relax the relax areas are with minimum muscle tone no tensions and if your fingers are cross there is a heaviness and the weight of the hands has increased in our lap because we are to a great extent withdrawn from the hands the remaining body is still having muscle tone etc now come to the main trunk the chest muscles relax go down slowly in the abdominal area right up to the floor relax 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 from the shoulders downward up to the hip joints both sides now the back side start from the head the neck the shoulder blades go downwards along the spine the back muscles relax go down relax relax no another pause if it has happened correctly you may get pulsation at the base the weight of the body has increased on these ischia points therefore from the head up to the hips part is removed from the mind
relax the hip relax the hip joints the thighs knees relax the calf muscles ankles heels and toes as if walk out of the body meaning like a plastic carry bag when we keep it on the table all the tension of the carry bag walls is gone the contents were not in tension the carry bag was on tension in the same manner in the carry bag of the mind the body was creating tension for the mind body has no tension it is inert body has no experience as if we are out of the body there are so many bodies here but one particular we claim to be me and mine so take the front view of your body don't forget you are outside the body the head the forehead part by part go again downwards and if there are patches of tensions relax them so whatever attachment is that part is removed go to the right side of your body start from the right side of the head the right ear and go downward slowly ironing out the patches of tension if they are right side is fully relaxed now go to the back side don't forget you are outside the body start from the head neck go downward slowly right up to the base relax 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 now the last come to the left side of the body here you will see a lot of tensions because other three parts are relaxed so i ram them properly keep their attentions now come in front now be attentive the body shape and contour line either has become hazy or disappeared now the mind has dropped the shape of the body and mind itself is formless therefore 
the concept inside the body and outside the body is redundant don't try to understand don't make concept Now because the mind has dropped the shape of the body, the individual mind has merged with the total mind. And the mind has no reference of body. Therefore, thinking is almost null and void because the mind has dropped the body the oxygen requirement is minimum only the bmr has to be kept going therefore the breathing the breathing is extremely slow and shallow Uh, this is the master key now we are not satisfied only with this because the mind has no reference it is quiet and this quiet mind is likely to enter sleep and that is why many seekers sleep during meditation and the initiation of sleep is recognized when the breathing becomes deep and if body identification is happening the breathing becomes fast therefore one has to consciously be aware that the breathing is slow and shallow now this quiet mind is engaged in inquiry if i am other than the body what is the load of this statement so the body has a shape so being other than the body i cannot have the shape so what it is like being formless shapeless
is there anything which is formless, shapeless, and we come down to space. Space is formless, shapeless. So let us play space, space. We are not becoming space, we are only playing. Like the children play husband, wife, they don't become. We are just playing. What it is like being space? Space supports everything, rejects nothing, but doesn't get influenced by anything. Is it not our experience? We support waking dream, deep sleep, samadhi, but we remain the same. We are the center which has no circumference. So further, what is space? It has no beginning, no middle, no modification and no end. It is infinite. Is it not our experience? We have no experience of birth, therefore beginningless. No experience of growth. It is the body that grows, not us. No experience of modifications. Like the space, we support all the bodies, childhood, etc. And the most important, space is not influenced by anything. So too, we are untouched by Waking, dream, deep sleep, samadhi. Jis chidakasha, the conscious solid space, is our essential being. Being space, infinite, and being solid, there is no sense of otherness.
the caution to be taken do not talk to yourself and listen to silence
slowly take deep breath 3 4 times not in a hurry offer everything at the feet of the lord and empty yourself don't make a memory or concept of this experience slowly move your toes and fingers and don't rub your palms violently ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम